Hello everybody. This is technician at Parts Guru. I am in this segment trying to display the difference between a vibratory pump and the uh, rotary pump. There has been a lot of talk about uh, the rotary pump being better in a home espresso machine. Uh, I disagree with that, so I am now making an effort to explain the difference between the two. Those videos in which uh, the so-called technicians, they have explained that uh, our rotary pump is uh, better. Uh, they have shown a comparison of the espresso made with the two pumps and it is misleading because they don't tell you some more details about how the rotary pump operates and what it takes to install the rotary pump. I have here the pump motor that is necessary to operate the rotary pump. The rotary pump cannot operate itself and if it is operating and it is quiet, it is because there is nothing in it except a vane that is uh, attached to a rotor. That rotor has to be turned by a motor. Now this is the motor. It is here a slot that will engage the flat uh, tab from the rotary pump and this locks in so that the motor can turn the rotary pump. And there will be a clamp here to hold these together. And I imagine the size of this motor, it is about 12 to 14 pounds heavier. And this pump, the rotary pump, cannot operate until the motor is operating. So this motor will turn the rotary pump, and that is how the vanes will turn inside and push the water in one direction. These pumps, they are quiet because they have nothing inside to operate and make uh, noise. The motor will make noise. One side is the inlet, the other side is the outlet. Inside here in the chamber, there is a rotor to which there are five or six uh, vanes attached and they will turn and push the water and uh, pump it into making espresso. This motor will operate on the same circuit as the solenoid valve, which allows water to come into the machine. And so being on the same circuit, as soon as the motor starts, the solenoid valve will open and allow the water in, either to fill the boiler or to make espresso. In this segment, I will explain to you and display the uh, vibrating pump. This is the comparative size of the vibrating pump and the whole assembly with the motor and the rotary pump. This is ridiculous inside a home model, which is usually a small machine and does not have to have this size of pump arrangement. This is the best thing that happened to any home espresso machine. That is a small pump which operates with a spring-backed piston that will push water in one direction. So compared to this uh, vibrating pump, the rotary pump does not have a direction one way so that it will not allow the water to go back. So here in USA, this is one of the conditions that the health department will ask whether the machine is connected with a no return valve, which means if there is too much pressure in the boiler and the pump is not operated by the motor, at that time, the steam pressure can push the water back in the opposite direction and even out of the machine so that the water will contaminate from the boiler and go back into the water supply. So this is one reason why the oscillating pump is better because it has only one way pumping direction. And that direction cannot be reversed or go back and so this can suck water from the water tank, generate a maximum of 15 bar pressure, and that is more than enough to extract espresso at nine bars. This pump in front has a pressure regulating device that you can increase or decrease the pressure, but that normally is not required because it has an overpressure bleeding 
nozzle on this side. So if the pressure is too much and the water is not going towards the boiler to make espresso, then it will bleed that excess pressure into back into the water tank. So it is a very safe device. It is very small and it is, yes, it is vibrating, but that vibration is not like a fire brigade passing outside on the road and you cannot even hear talking to each other. So it is just a exaggerated statement that vibrating pump is very noisy. That is not true. It exerts as much noise as the motor that works to operate the, the rotary pump. The uh, machines that have the vibrating pump, they are ideal. They are UL listed. They are meant for home use and they are used only in the home machines. And that's my uh, explanation that those who are promoting the machines with rotary pumps, they are just oversizing the description, exaggerating the function and the advantages, and that has really no value, except that they will sell these machines for a $500 extra price. The videos I have watched, they are promoting the prosumer style machines, which is really uh, a commercial machine for professional use, but they are selling it to the consumers, even though that this is not necessary for use at home. For uh, commercial machines, this may be good, and, uh, but these machines cannot be used in USA because these are not NSF uh, or ETL certified. The machines I noted were uh, Quick Mill and Expo Bar, ECM, and uh, Rocket. These are all machines which can be uh, installed with a rotary pump or an oscillating pump. They have both versions, which is clearly because they can sell these machines in USA with a vibrating pump for home use and they are selling the machine, same machine, with a rotary pump because these can be then used in restaurants and small businesses where the rotary pump will work better. Not because it has any advantage, not because it has any extra pumping pressure, but it is because the espressos are made one after the other nonstop in some cases. So that is a commercial uh, background why this rotary pump is perhaps with an advantage. But I do not recommend this for any home use machine and anyone who is being misled by these uh, declarations that vibrating pump is noisy and the uh, rotary pump is quiet. It doesn't really make that much difference. You can still talk while the vibrating pump is on. That, I don't see the reason why it should be uh, demoted and rotary pump should be promoted without any justification. And so that's how I wanted to explain, so that if you have any questions still, you are welcome to email me, and uh, I'll be happy to answer and send you some extra information that will explain how false these claims are that the rotary pump is better than the vibrating pump. Thank you for watching.